Welcome to the Jimmy Stewart Show. This is the new and not so improved Jimmy Stewart. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey everybody. Um, it's been a while. I mean, I always say that, but it really has been at least a few months, I think, since I've last uh, done a video. But, I figured I'd get you guys up to speed, because everyone keeps asking, Where are the videos? Where are the videos? I wish they were saying that. Things have been kind of busy lately. I mean, I'm taking 15 hours of college, which then adds homework, which is about anywhere from 5 to 7 hours um, at night of more studying. Not every night, but throughout the week, I mean. Um, other than that, I've been moving. But wait, if I'm moving, then why am I still in my shitty-ass dark room? Good question. I didn't move out. I had a new roommate move in. And if you want to know more about that, you should go over to the Epic Dilutions page and check that out. And I mean, alongside that, I've been working on different hobbies, been going to the gym, been going to work a lot more. Like, I've been picking up hours because money is key right now. And um, in all of this busyness, I have discovered I miss cuddling. Don't get me wrong, I miss sex. But cuddling with someone that you really can just kind of, mm, you know. Does that make me gay? Nah. But because I miss cuddling, I've actually been spending time on dating websites. That's a nice way of saying social networking site. And on these dating websites, you have all these women who sit there and they say things like, oh, I want a nice guy who's intelligent. I want a nice guy who can make me laugh. He's goal-oriented. He has hobbies. Oh, you know, I'm not, I'm more than a one night stand. And, you know, and it's like, message me if you are all of these things and we are compatible and da 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 da. I will then message them and be like, hey, you know, and try to be somewhat funny, try to start a conversation. And they're all so picky. You know, every girl out there seems to think she needs to be with fucking Brad Pitt. I could be a model. That's what I tell myself when I cry myself to sleep at night. So, you know, when you're going out, when you're throwing yourself out there on a the line and trying to be nice and meet these people and no one's really throwing anything back at you, you kind of wonder, like, what's wrong with me? Like, what am I doing wrong? And I really don't know what I'm doing wrong because honestly, I'm not looking to cling to anyone. I mean, I'm just looking to have someone to talk to, honestly. That's all I want is conversation from the opposite sex because I want to talk to dudes. That's easy. I got five dude friends who I can just turn to any time, but not enough women want to talk. So then I decided I'd introduce an alter ego on this website. Didn't they make a movie about it? Sat down and decided my alter ego is going to be the exact opposite of me. He's going to do the exact opposite stuff. And he's going to, all the girls are going to love him. I had to think of a name for this guy first. I want to be Kyle. I knew this guy at camp who's maybe 13. He got two girls pregnant, man. Two girls pregnant. Yeah. Kyle. Who are you gonna be? Okay, so I figured we gotta get a face for this guy. We've got a name, we got an idea, but it needs a face. Gotta have pictures of this guy. So here we go. Yo, yo, what's up? My name's, uh, my name's Kyle. Uh, you can call me K-Y Jelly, because that's what I use on all the ladies. <clears throat> you know, you can't, you can't tell me, uh, you can't, you can't bring Kyle down, you can't bring KY down, man, because, just, I'm the game, man, that's how good I am. Look at that, man, I go to the gym in my free time, boom! Look at that, oh, oh, look at that, yeah, man. Um, okay, so, Kyle, what are your hobbies? Yeah, a lot of people like to ask me, what does Kyle like to do? Let me tell you, Kyle, Kyle likes to make the money. It's all about the Benjamins. You know what else? Um, Kyle likes to kick it with the young foxy ladies. Likes to take them back to his place, lay them down on his bed. Kyle knows how to what the knows what the ladies like. I guess those are hobbies. Um, what's your story, man? So uh, you wanna know about my backstory, huh? My backstory? Well, uh, man, my backstory, man. Please, like I'm telling you, I don't know you. You don't know me. You don't need to know me. All you need to know is that I make you feel good. Mm-hmm. Why did I do this? Can't believe I'm gonna ask, but describe a typical night out for you. When I go out to the clubs, I show up, man, bam, first thing that happens, collar goes up, you know what, bam, buttons come open, 
All the girls can't stand but touch this. Ooh. Would you say that you're a cheesy ripoff of K-Fed and Jersey Shore? Man, let me tell you, you see this? Booyah! Yeah! Straight up! Who the fuck is the situation? I am! Oh god. Just tell the ladies how to contact you, Kyle. So you know, if you ladies ever want to hit me up, reach me on the sub, reach me on the Facebook, hell, hit me on the YouTube, because this sad sack of shit ain't using it for nothing. Deuces. <sighs> that's, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'm going to try to be on here a little bit more frequently. I'm going to try to put more effort into my videos and hopefully more quality. Um, hopefully they get better than all these horrible vlogs. So have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. You got anything else to say, Meathead? Uh, yeah. i just like to say that uh really upsets me when South Park... Gingers don't have souls!